3,495 pounds as you see it here. The 16FQ Wolf Pup in black label, plus some extra upgrades here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a very highly upgraded copy of this model. We've got the uh, the juice pack solar option, the black label package, which we're going to talk about all the uh, pieces and parts of that as we go, even the rear cargo rack on the back of this. So you can actually get this built down much closer to 3,000 pounds in a, a base model standard series, but we have had so many people really, really ask for the, uh, the upgrades that you get here on black label that we like to offer it both ways. So keep in mind, we might only have one video but we may have very differently equipped campers. So always check our site or call our team to see exactly what we have in stock. And it could very well differ from what you see here. It's kind of like a car commercial. It just gives you an idea of what we might have. It's not the exact one that we are guaranteed to have on hand. Historically, when you walked into one of these 16 FQ Wolf Pups here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan, this is basically what you saw right here. He had this front walk-around queen bed that was ideal for singles or couples camping. And actually, way back when, those side wardrobe closets were actually optional. That is something that we've always tried to put into these, though, because you really need that extra storage space. But what's nice is you get these big windows on both sides of the bed. There's a little stand on either side of the bed. You can see the power outlets, both household and USB on both sides of that. Plus that nice deep overhead cabinet. And more recently, you might notice how there are twin lights above the bed. That's a recent update at the time of this filming instead of a single light. So you can kind of do like a, a, a mine and yours lighting situation. However, uh, last year, they made a little update here that really improved the amount of living space you get out of this little guy. And they did so by giving you the option of basically folding the bed out of the way and gaining a front sofa here, effectively a Murphy bed. But what's kind of cool is if, like, I've had people say, uh, I don't want a camper with a Murphy bed. Mm, don't use it. Like, you literally lose nothing. You only gain the ability to have some extra daytime seating space. And what's nice is the TV hookups, as you'll see, they're actually just over my right shoulder as I'm standing here right now. So that sofa is on boardwalk and park place with a no neck wrecker angle on this thing so that it faces directly at you. Now again, you got those big windows, you got the household USB plugs on both sides, very handy in the daytime by that sofa for like phone charging and whatnot. Now someone might say, yeah, but you know, I really want that storage that just comes under uh, a normal fixed bed. Well, don't worry folks, you still got it. Because just like you normally lift a mattress to get to the storage below uh, a bed, you can just lift the front of the sofa and actually it's got its own little kind of sweet spot like there's no voodoo magic i didn't put a lock in place or anything on that if you there's a little sweet spot where it will just hold itself up in that v form so you can access the storage below so once again you really don't lose anything now from here one of the best qualities of this camper is actually one of the things that makes it a little bit tricky to film sometimes. Like you can see the big windows there, but as we start sweeping around, you got your big screen door coverage over here on the campsite. And overlooking the dinette, you get this huge campsite window. So this thing has amazing campsite uh, breeze and visibility coverage. It's fantastic the way they've done this here. You got your handy little couples dinette. Now in a normal black label, all of the countertops, whether it's the bathroom, the kitchen, or this dining, would all be the sealed edge press membrane material that you're seeing right here, which has become very, very prolific in the RV industry. Um, it originated with Coachman RV, um, and then uh, it permeated through Forest River, and now you're finding it used almost by every brand out there. This is definitely a little couple's dinette. You know, it's going to be a little tight for four adults. Maybe an adult and kid per bench, but you're going to be hip to hip when you're doing that. Again, that black square on the back wall, that is our TV hookup. And the uh, black square and rectangle on the left side of the frame are household and USB plugs. So you've always got something to charge your phone nearby. Now, up top here, your uh, well, the, the black square is your TV bracket. Your hookups are above. I want to make sure I specify that and clarify that. Big overhead cabinet, but... Uh, a, a very recent addition in the Wolf Pup thing here is the uh, inclusion of an almost invisible uh, application of the LCI One control. You see that sticker at the bottom here where it says Camp Smart. Basically, you can scan that QR code in the um, LCI One control app and sync your phone to this thing. So if you want to be able to run like your awning and some of your lights or water pump and heater, you can do that right off your phone, which is kind of handy, especially the awning part and the lights. 
Um, the uh, uh, entertainment system over here, it's simple but super easy to expand because um, you've got, uh, you know, Bluetooth stereo here. Ooh, yeah, I told you that that exterior light's going to be a bit of a trick. There we go. Sorry, guys. I wasn't looking at the camera. Um, but you've also got HDMI and powered USB plugs here. So if you got like a Amazon Fire, Roku stick, something like that, you can, you can, uh, you know, plug in an um, auxiliary thing here. It actually even has a microphone uh, so that if you are synced to this, there's actually call accept and call end buttons right on the stereo. So if your phone is charging by your bed and you're sitting here at the dinette, you can literally reach up, press the number six, which is the green accept call button, it, take a call, hear it, uh, hear people speak through your speakers, and then they can hear you speak through here. Although keep in mind, everybody else is listening to you. So it's kind of like sometimes you want to be on kind of more private uh, conversation mode. Um, let's see, what else we got? Oh, full size roof air unit up here which is really nice. If you're gonna be in a hot place, you pull those shades down, you kick that AC unit up, and you will be able to stay comfortable pretty much no matter what part of the country you find yourselves in. And as we go down from there, you can see how our windows have the nice pleated kind of, you know, really block them out the sun shades here. Very nice on a big giant window right there. It, you know, that's really cool for being able to see your campsite, but if the sun is just cooking you alive, that shade right there pulled down is literally more effective than what is called a dual pane thermal window in the RV industry because the RV industry doesn't typically use actual thermal windows. Dual pane and thermal are different things. Um, a little bit further down, obviously you can see that this can fold down into a small sleeper. Now if my life depended on it, I'm a six foot two, three, I don't know, 190, 200 pound dude, somewhere in there. And, you know, if I had to, if I was crashing on my buddy's pad for a little bit, I could get by on a, a weekend there. Um, you know, I might occasionally kick the end wall for sure, but this would be a good occasional maybe little kid sleeper or probably most commonly you'd leave it folded down for a little bit of travel cargo space. And kind of like I mentioned the side wardrobe closets on either side of the bed, you can see how both uh, dinette benches have full storage below them here. Now those are good for occasional use. You're not going to use them every single day. Um, but if you're keeping track of my uh, RV nerdisms, number 37 and number 37 are not an ounce of space gone to waste because every ounce counts. And you can see that they've applied both of those principles here. Same thing under the sink, nice big wide open spaces. Small wastebasket would fit in that lower cabinet very nicely, by the way. Up top here, a black label feature, actually a one-two punch, uh, is that we get a solid surface counter. And then you see the upgraded sink fixture right there. Now, it comes with these solid surface counter uh, covers for the um, big stainless sink that we're looking at right there. And if you set it up like I've done here, you have both back and side splashes that are all very easy to kind of clean up, put away, and a nice big chunk of overhead space here as well. Now, it seems like we are looking for more and more and more ways to be uh, connected, data connectivity, that is. And this is all prepped for an LCI One Control hotspot up there. That's something very few customers exercise, but it is cool that it's all prepped and ready for you. I don't suspect many little wolf pup customers will be looking for that. That is a feature that tends to apply more to full-time work campers, but hey, man, it's cool that it's just there. And the neat thing is because of Cherokee's massive buying power, you're getting stuff like that basically free of charge. You're not getting dinged extra for it. And that is one of those larger 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt Furion uh, compressor fridges. And it is like, it's roughly like 70% more cold storage than this thing used to have. It is absolutely awesome. Down below that, by the way, um, if the RV is outfitted with the juice pack option, you see that red switch. That is a battery disconnect switch so that you can make sure that your battery is just shut off. And over here between these windows, you'll see a, uh, a battery readout monitor so you can find out exactly how much power is currently in reserve on your battery. If you don't know what that means, basically, it's your battery's gas tank and you have a digital readout for it. And what's nice is I've had all these lights and that fridge is running. And I've just got that 50 watt uh, high efficiency panel on the roof and it has held 11.7 volts this entire time. And I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. And a quick look at everything here all nice and closed up. It's got such a clean, sleek, modern look about it. Like even the uh, very like shaker style cabinetry that you see here, that's, that's a big residential trend. You may also notice this is a completely carpetless floor. No vents, easy, easy cleaning. Very nice if you're gonna be off grid, maybe you got dirty shoes, something like that. Um, 
if you're curious, they, they do use a converter on this, which is lithium capable. Not every camper converter is capable of that. Foot flush stool right there, and this is a super fluffy, friendly uh, person kind of bathroom because there's plenty of hip and shoulder room on either side of that. Um, the uh, shower area over here does have a nice surround panel system. Your uh, shower head has a quick little on-off flow valve so that you don't have to waste any of that precious fresh water if you are dry camping. And this big blank wall in the back, remember there are studs every 16 inches on center back here. So um, some people want to hang a towel rack, some people don't. Some people want, uh, you get the idea. Different people want different things. Because there's studs in the walls just like in your house, you can very easily add stuff. Now what is nice is no matter whether it's black label or standard series, you are going to get the larger like Max Air style big vent fan right here. And one of the things Wolf Pup's gotten very good about is that every one of their bathrooms always has a dedicated sink in it. And that's a recent addition on some floor plans, but the 16FQ has always had a huge bathroom counter. Frankly, it's amazing how many big fifth wheels and trailers don't even have this much counter space. So you can actually have a blow dryer sitting out without worrying about it accidentally slipping into the sink if you jostle the trailer. Although, God forbid it did, it is GFI protected, so you're not going to get zippity zap electrocuted because <laughs> that's a shockingly bad experience. Am I right? Now, when you're on the inside of the camper, there are very few things that really obviously separate the standard series Wolf Pups from a black label. Like the solid surface counters, the upgraded sink, and the different color cushions. That's all you can really see is different. However, when you go outside, it's obvious you're looking at something very, very different here. Um, the uh, black label package, we're going to kind of start from the front and work our way back explaining what is different on this versus a standard series 16FQ Wolf Pup. So starting right up front, power tongue jack doing the heavy lifting for us. Right behind that, uh, uh, you actually see you've got a solid shell uh, propane cover, which is nice instead of like a little slip cover. Little things like that just you know, nice touches are often overlooked, and those are the detail things I want to point out for you so that you can really understand that. Now, you can obviously see that gorgeous mirror-like finish on that uh, uh, high-gloss gel coat exterior right there, that fiberglass skin. Um, the frameless windows go along with the black label package, but one of the things that's a little less obvious is you're actually still uh, getting that extra thick aluminum nose sweep that you'd have on any Cherokee product, whether it's Wolf Pup, Gray Wolf, Cherokee, etc. Um, it's 67% thicker than common aluminum sidewalls and uh, it gives you like extra strength up front so that it is very strong against wind buffeting um, as well as things like uh, flying stones. Basically the whole nose is like diamond plate. Now you might notice how there's a battery on the tongue. That's not something manufacturers normally include with RVs. However, when uh, you get a, a Cherokee product with the Juice Pack Solar Option, that Group 27 battery on the tongue there is actually part of it. So that's you know just one less thing you got to worry about. Although that being said, at Halet RV, every new RV that we sell includes uh, a 12-volt battery and box if required as part of our sale price. So that's not something you ever have to worry about with us. That black, uh, not black tank flush, I'm sorry, the um, outside shower, the camp shower that you see over there, that is a handy overlooked feature that a lot of people miss on little trailers like this. That's maybe 50% of the time you get it on a little camper. There's also right above the sewer hookups, which are in the uh, rear corner down there, you can see them below the skirt line. There's an outside courtesy light and it actually has its own individual switch. So if you have to come out at night to uh, dump your tanks, you can. Uh, and then switch the light off individually without bothering the neighbors. You also see aluminum wheels on there. That is another feature that is part of the Black Label series specifically. The cargo rack on the back here, that is uh, rated for about 200 pounds. That is a, uh, a completely separate option. Um, you can put that on the standard series, the Black Label series. That is actually a feature that we tend to put on pretty much any wolf pup we can. Because there are a lot of people who want a place to put bikes. Um, extra coolers or even a small generator and that is a way that when you do it from the factory you can do all of those things without sacrificing any level of your factory warranty. I do want to also point out this does have a fully walkable roof so even a big dude like me can get up there and perform some uh, seasonal maintenance and upkeep. And now over here on the patio side, a couple good things. You got that handy power awning with a two finger easy tilt adjustment. That is one of the things I really like about these. You wanna have a couple lawn chairs outside, but it's a little drizzly because in a small camper, you need all the living space you can get. 
literally two fingers to tilt it down to give the awning just a little bit of a pitch so that uh, you know you get some rain runoff. You don't get any pooling up there, although it does have its own auto rain dump feature. You can kind of manually force it. Or if the sun is just stabbing your eyes, you can maybe uh, angle it just a touch, kind of like the, you know, the visors in your uh, vehicle. You can do that. Now, if you leave the awning crooked like this and you roll it up, no big deal, it'll sort itself out, it doesn't get damaged. And you can see the little rain dump struts kind of wiggling in the wind here a little bit. We're gonna get that put away rather shortly. Uh, what is kind of cool back here, you got the little pet leash latch. So if you got a little four-legged furry friend, you can keep them on your site and not running around in case they are uh, inclined to do so. I know my little guy, I didn't do a good job as a dog dad, kind of teaching him to, you know, listen to me. And I like what they did here. This is a more recent addition on the 16FQ because there was this huge chunk of space below the bathroom counter that was basically just wasted. Well, they said, you know what? We could squeeze a little mini fridge in there. And they added these little kind of drawbridge style cable supports. So it's almost got its own little like table built in, its own little drink station. It's really cool. That's the kind of smart, simple, inexpensive stuff that really speaks to me. Um, Black Label obviously gives us these gorgeous frameless windows in addition to the fiberglass skin we always talked about, or already talked about rather. And by the way, there is uh, awning lighting under there. You can kind of see it glowing a little bit it's just in direct sunlight. It doesn't really show very well. Larger entry handle and an anti-slam door for easy come and go. And Cherokee was the first in this class to standardize stable steps, although most everybody, if they haven't standardized it, they are offering it as an option now. And right below that Black Label sticker and above that uh, aluminum wheel that comes with the Black label package you can see the outside tv hookup which is a standard feature on any of these little wolf pups um up front here i don't want to miss a thing kind of like steven tyler you've got your side mount solar prep plug right here if you are so inclined to use those and remember this specific one we're looking at has the optional roof solar package on it which has that disconnect and battery readout as well as that little charge controller right there and if you want to you can add a second 50 watt uh, Furion panel without needing to swap out that controller. That is possible. But it is nice to give you a good chunk of outside space here as well and a big door to get in there. Um, right down below that, right, right in front of that uh, front jack, which by the way, let's take a moment to acknowledge that this has four corner stabilizer jacks, which a lot of these little campers do not have. That is a cool thing right there. There is a battery disconnect switch so that, uh, you know, you can. Uh, you know, or not disconnect switch. I'm sorry, I got distracted by that truck rolling through. There is a gas grill quick connect. There we go. So if you want to do some outside grilling and not be under your awning when you're doing it, you absolutely can. Ladies and gentlemen, we've covered a lot of really good things here today. And if you appreciate what we do here at Halet RV, all we ask for is the fair opportunity to earn your business at my family's dealership here. So whether you need hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery and everything between, the only thing we don't do is hidden dealer fees. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.